Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Burton Albion. We've got two games left of the season and if you look on the left hand side of the screen at the league table you will see that we have qualified for the playoffs. So today it is basically determining whether we're going to finish fourth, fifth or sixth place in the league. We do have Crystal Palace as our first game who are currently fifth. We've also got Blackburn who are tenth place. So they're not really playing for anything. Well, it's unlikely they're going to be playing for anything by the time we play them. Since the last episode, we've played a total of four games and we've drawn three of them. First up was Bristol City. It was a 1-1 draw. Ashley Fletcher with the goal for Bristol City. Jamie Allen scores the equaliser for us on the 90th minute. But look at the match stats. 27 shots, 8 on target, 1 goal. 6 shots for Bristol, 1 on target, 1 goal. Doesn't seem fair, does it? Next up was another game that we dominated and this one was a 1-1 draw against Derby. Afonso Souza with the goal for us, Ollie Watkins with the goal for them. It's another point, we do keep our unbeaten run going and as you've already seen we do still manage to get into the playoffs anyway so it doesn't really matter what these results are. The third draw on the spin was up against relegated Bradford City. That's right, a team who've got 13 points or maybe they've got 14 points now. 1-1 it was in the end. Oliver Skip with the goal for us. Jonathan Barrett with the goal for Bradford City. And another game where we destroyed them through possession, shots, etc. Couldn't score a goal to save our lives. Our strikers haven't been having the best of times lately. Both of them. That was until the Leeds game happened. And we win this one. 3-1. Neil Williams took himself just 30 seconds to score the opening goal of the game. Samuel Shoshoa also scores on 17. Mitch Clark gets himself a goal playing at left back because uh, Josh Vokins is in Josh Jake Vokins is injured as well. Tyler Roberts scores a goal for Leeds on the 69th minute, but it was already the match was already done and dusted by the time that goal went in. Three more points, fourth place in the table. So yeah, like I said, today then we've got two matches. We can get obviously a total of six points, which can put us potentially onto 84, which isn't going to move us any higher than fourth place. We aren't going to go any lower than 6th. I think realistically it's 4th or 5th is where we're going to be finishing. Match number 1 then of the episode. The 45th game of the season. One more to play after this one. Crystal Palace are our opponents. 5th versus 4th. If we lose we will drop down to 5th place in the table. But I, to be honest I'm not too fussed now if we lose. And by I'm not too fussed, I'm still going to play a very strong side. So, in goal is Curtis Anderson, Jason McCarthy, A.D. Stevenson, Mark Gooey and Mitch Clark will be the back four. As I said earlier, Jake Vokins is currently out injured, which is why Mitch Clark is going to be the left back. Jonas David and Oliver Skip will be the midfielders with Samuel Shashua, Afonso Souza and Joe Sparra just behind the striker of Khalifa Diop, who still hasn't scored a goal for us in the first team and every time he plays, he's pretty appalling. Callum Gribben is also injured, whereas Callum Gribben, yeah, he's also slightly injured. I'm not going to play Gribben or Vokins for the rest of the season until we get to the actual playoffs because I don't want them to get injured. Also, Gilson Costa, I've got him in on trial. Apparently, he's not very good. Some of the more eagle-eyed of you might have actually spotted that a few of these players in my team had the word bid next to them. Um, Anderson, Stevenson and uh, Williams. I'm, I've also I've all gone in for them to reloan them for another season. So hopefully they will all sign. I can't get Mark Gooey for another season. I can't get Skip for another season. I can't get Vokins for another season because his contract is expiring. He is most definitely on my list of players to try and sign at the end of the season if he wants to join me. One thing I was thinking of earlier is Joe Sparrow. He's a real Burton player. Corner comes in. I thought Diop scored. It was cleared off the line. Yeah, Joe Sparrow is a real Burton player. And I get the impression he's a bit like an Adam Lallana was at Southampton. He's going to come up through the leagues, potentially get to the Premier League with us. Although I don't know whether he's good enough for the Premier League. I, Lallana clearly was. Ten minutes to play of the first half. And it's not exactly been a very exciting game at all, has it? So exciting, in fact, it's got to half-time, it's nil-nil, there's been five shots and only one on target. We're going to keep with the same 11 that we started the match with, hopefully. The half-time team talk might have actually woke them up a little bit. Mitch Clark with the ball, doesn't matter, that's the end of the highlight. Throw on for Crystal Palace, Galloway to Sampson. Hamza Chowdhury all the way across to Bufau. Mandy now is going to get the ball on the right-hand side. Crosses in. Sampson is there. He's hit the bar and A.D. Stevenson can clear the ball for a Crystal Palace throw. 
that we're not going to get to see because apparently highlights are very few and far between in this match. I've just shouted at them and I've gone more positive. I should probably think about doing a sub. McCarthy's on a 6.2. Maybe that is where our problem is. We're just going to play the entire 90 minutes and uh, not going to see any highlights. Milojevic with a free kick goes for goal. Anderson has just done some absolutely shocking goalkeeping. Luka Milojevic with the goal. 83 minutes on the clock. Palace are looking like they're going to bring our unbeaten run to an end and move up into fourth place. Buffal with a free kick as well for Palace deep into injury time. It's easily saved by Anderson. The first one should have been easily saved as well. That was not a very good result at all. And I think if we finish in the current positions that we are, we're going to be playing Crystal Palace twice in the next episode. So we've dropped down to fifth. In a way, I was going to say in a way I want to finish sixth. No, I don't want to finish sixth at all because Wolves are going to be a very, very difficult team to play in uh, in the playoffs if we get them. Although we have beaten them once 4-2, we, have we, we haven't beaten Palace at all. Have we beaten Southampton? We have beaten Southampton. Welcome back for the final game of the season then. We are currently 5th, Blackburn are 10th. If, well, let, to be honest, it's all down to what Palace do really, isn't it? If Palace beat Hull, it doesn't matter. We are going to finish 5th or maybe even 6th, depending on what happens here. So... It's the same as always. Let's just try and win our game. If we win our game, then maybe we'll get we'll get the rewards and we'll finish fourth. The starting lineup then. In goal is Curtis Anderson, Jason McCarthy, AD Stevenson, Mark Gooey, and Mitch Clark will be the back four with Jamie Allen and Jonas David just in front of them. Joe Sparrow and Afonso Souza will be flanking either side of Khalifa Diop. That's right, we're trying something slightly different. We're going to try Diop as that attacking midfielder role because he has been playing it for the under-23s and isn't doing a terrible job. He scored a few goals from there. Neil Williams will be the striker, which is another thing. Obviously, we haven't seen Williams and Diop play play together at all because they're both playing it. One com one, only one can play as a striker, basically, at, this, at one time. So maybe we can see some weird uh, Diop-Williams kind of link-up happen. That would be great. Some transfer news as well. A.D. Stevenson has rejected his loan extension, so he is going to be going back to Manchester City at the end of the season. Is it Man City or Chelsea? I think it's Chelsea, actually. Um, Anderson has extended his loan deal for another year, so has Williams. So, of all the players we have on loan, we're only keeping two of them at the moment. Stevenson, I really do want to keep for another year, but it's unlikely it's going to happen. Blackburn have uh, Gonzalo Carniero who is a player that I had for Groningen in last year's Football Manager. That's that's weird. He's he's very, very good at football. I'm going to try and not care too much about what's going on elsewhere because, to be honest, if we win and Palace win, we're playing Palace. If we win and Palace lose, we're playing Palace. It doesn't really matter. Southampton are beating Cardiff. So, yeah, basically, 4th, 5th and 6th is pretty much determined already. Souza with a free kick. It's gone deep, but Lenahan can clear it. McCarthy back to Afonso Souza. Is he going to try and cross it in? He finds McCarthy again. Where is McCarthy going? Back to Mark Gooey. Why is Mark Gooey there in the right back position? Joe Sparrow, Diop controls it. Mitch Clark goes for goal, hits the underside of the bar, and David Rea can claim the ball. Corner for Jamie Allen to take. No Callum Gribben today. David heads down. Bennett can clear it. And now Blackburn potentially can counter-attack. White runs forward with the ball. He's got no real support until Carniero gets forward with him into the penalty area. And Gonzalo Carniero has made it 1-0 to Blackburn. This is not the time where I want to suddenly start, like, start a losing streak. This is definitely not the time. If we were like ninth and we had nothing to play for, fine. Not when you're going into the playoffs. 35 minutes on the clock. Mark Gooey with the ball. Stands there. Why are you standing there? Forward to Jamie Allen. Once again forward, this time to Jonas David. Souza to Diop in the centre circle. Runs with the ball. Plays it across. Finds Jason McCarthy. What a ball that was. Plays it back to Allen. Afonso Souza. Joe Sparrow. Jamie Allen. Souza again. Takes a couple of touches. David. Mitch Clark is in the area. And Mitch Clark has had all of our shots so far. Why is our left back getting the best goal scoring opportunities? Half time then, it is 1-0 to Blackburn. Mitch Clark has a, he's taken a knock as well. He's on 57%. Do we switch Mitch Clark up? We have no left backs on the bench. So what we're going to do, Mitch Clark is going to come off for Cameron Humphreys. Gooey's going to go over to left back. Um, Khalifa Diop not doing so well 
in that attacking midfield role either. Next season, I think Khalifa Diop is probably going to get loaned out, maybe to like a League One side, and hopefully he can start playing well in League One. 70 minutes on the clock, nothing is happening in the second half. Cardiff, what's going on? I've paused the game. I've paused the game, I want to do a sub. Cardiff are destroying Southampton, so... Right, this is a risky thing to do. Do I do... It doesn't matter, we're going to lose, but we're going to finish fourth. Fifth, sorry, we can't finish any uh, any lower. We're going to bring on Shoshoa. We're also going to bring off Souza for Gribben. I did say Gribben wasn't going to play until the end of the season. But we're going to have to bring him on now, unfortunately. Into the final two minutes of the game. Tibbling can clear it upfield towards White, but it's headed forward by Stevenson. Allen can't play it past the uh, the red-headed midfielder there of Blackburn. Cuevas on the left. Forward ball tries to find White. McCarthy nicks the ball away. It was a tackle from behind, but somehow gets away with it. Gribben. Shashua. Long ball upfield to Diop. Is this the time? That is most definitely the time. Khalifa Diop sticking him up front. With two minutes to go, has equalised against Blackburn Rovers. It's not going to mean anything in the grand scheme of things, but I'm bloody relieved that Khalifa Diop has finally scored a goal. It's taken until the last game of the season, but the Senegalese international, he actually has caps for Senegal, has finally scored. Don't say it was offside good. Is there enough time to get a winner? I don't think so. Time has literally just disappeared. 96 minutes out of 94 to play. It is going to end 1-1 at Ewood Park. Unless something comes from this, it doesn't look like it is going to. And we are going to play Crystal Palace, I assume, in the next episode in the playoff semi-finals. Something that I didn't think we'd ever be doing. So the final league table then looks like this. Sheffield United almost caught up with Southampton. Southampton did a very good job of destroying their goal difference by losing 3-1 against Cardiff. Sheffield United, if if that was like, say, 4-1 and Sheffield United won about 3 or 4-0, that probably could have been overturned. Unfortunately for Sheffield United, it hasn't. Southampton then will probably be playing Wolves. We will be playing Crystal Palace. I'm going to go forward a couple of days until the draw happens, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Palace. I'm very concerned that there's no, like... By the way, you're playing a playoff match. When when does this draw happen? When does the draw happen? On the 1st of the 5th. That's today. Okay, the draw has now happened. Right, we are going to be playing Crystal Palace. As expected, Southampton Wolves. It is, as it's the semi-final, it's, it's definitely two legs, isn't it? It's two legs in the semi-final. So next episode then will be a Crystal Palace doubleheader in the playoff semi-finals. First up at home, secondly away. Both teams apparently not in particularly great form. As you can see then, the uh, the two teams' recent form, we are inconsistent. We are scoring goals. We're also conceding goals. One a game at the moment. Palace are in fair form. They've lost three in a row, but then two home games against us and Hull, which they managed to win by 1-0 and 2-0, so they haven't conceded in the last two games. But then again, the three games before that, they hadn't scored. That is going to do it then for this episode of Football Manager 2019 with Burton Albion. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time for the playoffs.